actually a good way to practice speech if you are bad talking at talking like I am. It will help you make speeches. I really haven't seen much improvement because when I get in front, it's this is a little bit easier because you're not in front of a bunch of people. But when I get in front of a bunch of people, man, it like everyone just like looks at me like, dude, is this guy serious? And I, I mean, I'm this just surprised the people. I'm not actually good at talking because I mean, I, I don't look like one of those guys that would be like like god awful at talking. I, I actually look like I'd be really social, but I actually like keeping to myself, which is kind of weird that I'm actually commentating on StarCraft games. I just love StarCraft though, That's this, StarCraft is a passion of mine. And oh, one note on the Star, be, StarCraft being a passion, I know I'm getting sidetracked a lot, but all right, one note on StarCraft being a passion, if you haven't seen Day 9's uh, video of him, like his life of StarCraft, I, I highly recommend you see it. It is, it is really cool how, uh, where he's like, like, shit, what was I gonna say? Oh, okay, it's my bad. I forgot what I was gonna say, but no big deal. It's just really cool. Check out that video if you'd actually watch this video f for some reason, but I don't know why you'd watch this video, because I'm not very good at commentating. So, looks like he's gonna be getting out those mutas, because he sees those, uh, those dudes over there, as you see, the dudes, void rays, that's what they're called, I believe, and just training a queen over there, uh, probably once those things turn into larva, he's gonna be, we're gonna be seeing some, uh, bunch of mutas, not mutas, hydras, because those are, uh, about, those are probably like a, I wouldn't say they're a hard counter to void rays, but void rays have trouble killing them, soft counter, that's what they call them, yeah, they're, they're pretty soft counter to, whoa, what the hell just happened, pretty soft counter to void rays. It looks like he's gonna be doing some damage. He's gonna be able to kill that queen. No, he pulls the queen back. Does a transfusion on him. Not an effective harassment. Does absolutely no damage at all, except for like a couple damage to that queen, which is gonna regain its shields in like two seconds, or not shields, its life in two seconds. He's, he's a bunch of, he just has a bunch of zerglings just hanging out around the map. Those are overlords, but just a bunch of zerglings hanging out. There's a zergling there army there, a bunch of roaches. Um, oh man, that is gonna see, oh he's gonna pick up a couple of roaches here with those void rays. He's gonna do, those, those roaches are completely helpless against the void rays because they just, uh, no, they're just not good against them. <laughs> His holding position gets one kill. Oh man, how devastating. That has four kills, really? I didn't notice any other kills besides that, just that one right there which the other one got. Yes, a couple hydras. I don't know if that is enough to deal with all those or those two void rays. What wow, man? What the hell's up with my computer? He has three void rays out now, which I guess that was to do a lot of damage against these f mutas here. He'd have to actually bring in his queen to the fight if he wants to survive. And he has that queen right there to block off entrance to this area of his base, which is a good idea. Uh, hold on one sec. Let me just look at my notes. I forgot what I was going to be talking about today. Okay, well. Nothing big. Okay, moving his roaches out here. Gonna be intercepted, not intercepted, but just they're just gonna meet up with this this army right over here, which is cool, I guess. And uh, stalking him for a shot, putting down the guardian shield, gonna be doing a shit ton of damage, blocking those mutas that those hydras and roaches from leaving. Com leaves them completely helpless. So he burrows, just tries to save him while he bring in, brings in more mutas over here, but. He has a robotics base, so he's probably making a. And he, like, he has a Colossus out, so it looks like it's over for Sen, no matter what he does. Even though, even with the amount of uh, mutas, I keep calling them mutas. Why do I keep calling them mutas? Uh, hydras, that's what they're called. Even with the um, massive amount of hydras and zerglings over there, it just does not look like enough units to take on this army. Does a good block off, block some uh, uh, zerglings up coming in. And it has, brings that observer over there, kills all the burrowed units. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Sen. Sen is a badass player, but just looks like he's not able to defend White Raw's like awesomeness here. It's no big deal because White Raw is pretty cool. But bringing over that Colossus, bringing some extra firepower for his main army, his basically his whole army, I guess, which is basically gonna win him the game here. See, as you see, he just had, he only has like these light light units right here. This Hydra has 80. That takes I mean like one 
shot with that uh, the class is like takes out like half its shield so he's basically done I think one shot with his uh, class takes out a circling depending on what upgrades he has it only looks like he has plus one so oh man barely barely uh, two shots okay but it's just not not looking good for this uh, Sen right now oh my god looks like they're just gonna be chilling for a while, building up an army, and chilling. They're just chilling, as it, they both have their pretty. Looks like it, just from looks, it looks like Sen would win this battle if they both ca like confronted each other right now. It's look, it just looks like Sen would win. But you gotta take in cons consideration that. White Raw has that Colossus and this probe there, which is gonna this probe is gonna do tons of damage against those Lings and Mutas. Mu I, God damn! I <laughs> I call them Mutas one more time. I think I'm just gonna like quit playing StarCraft because that's just embarrassing, man. <laughs> this, okay, warping in a couple more Zealots, make himself feel more confident. I want to check out something because like that that probe is still in there, <laughs> man. Well, that, that's pretty careless of him. As a just a probe in there with his main army, I think it's kind of funny in my opinion. But that probe is going to be doing a lot of damage against this uh, this massive army here. And right now, it just looks like they're macroing up an army, just to try to like outmass each other. And uh, just by supply count, it looks like White Raw is in the win, in the win, in the, he's in the win. Did you guys know that? He's in the win. If you ever want to impress your teachers with uh, your immense vocabulary, just tell them, yeah, he's in the win. And you sh are, if you're like, okay, if you're in English right now, just say, yeah, you're in the win. And they'll know, they'll automatically pass you. It's inevitable. I mean, seriously. I'm not, I'm not even kidding, too. So, and that Muta is just going to get annihilated. This, oh, no. This, yeah, this looks like this army is just going to get annihilated. He has, oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. This army is just gonna get annihilated by all those Colossus and Void Rays. Oh no. I'm so sorry, Sen, but your army is just not big enough for to defend White Raw's massive army. And now you guys are just able to watch this ending battle here. Oh, oh no. Oh man, he has corrupt. Oh crap, he has corruptors. Oh no, oh my god. This could actually. This could actually be the difference in the game, these Corruptors. I'm not sure if that's enough Corruptors to deal with this army, but I don't... It may just be enough to defend this and actually and maybe pull off the win. Let's just check this out. This might be the this might be the defining point of the game here. Whoever wins this battle is probably going to win the game. And you guys are just going to be watching this and enjoying it. Oh my god. Sen is just getting owned, man. Those corruptors are just are owning those uh, void rays right now. But once he's able to pull in those stalkers into the mix, man, those corruptors are gonna get owned. And one, one thing I want to point out. Oh shit, never mind. I'm not gonna point out that because Sen has just called GG and left. White Ross stayed in for a couple minutes, even or not a couple minutes, but a couple seconds after. It, he uh, called it GG. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, yeah, so basically, the I'm just gonna explain game what you should get out of this game. Um, let me take a look at my notes. <laughs> I, f I wasn't really paying attention too well. So, reason that's what, what I just want to point out about this game is you don't have you don't have to uh, apply early pressure if you're seeing that has fast hatch by a Zerg player if you're a Protoss player. Instead, what you can do is just do place down a fast nexus yourself, and you'll be at the, about the same economy as your Zerg opponent. And but you're gonna have to do a pretty good wall in as like this one. He has, he put in those pylons later, but uh, those py those pylons if when they weren't there, he had a great wall off. You're gonna want to put in a get a forge to put in a couple at least at least one futon futon cannon. If that is that how you pronounce it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it was one photon, at least one phone, photon. Okay, I'm just gonna try to continue after making up some errors. Okay. 
So yeah, fast hatch. Okay, after a fast hatch, you want to get. And one other transition you can work in your build orders is doing a fast nexus and putting a photon cannon. This especially works on a map like Shakura's Plateau, which is a especially on these uh, opposite positions, which is pretty long rushing distance. And it has such a narrow choke right here. It's about two force fields can cover it. So if you have a, I mean, just put down a couple sentries, a photon cannon, and a couple uh, stalkers, and you should be good with putting on a fast hatch in response to a fast hatch. Okay. I'm botching like every single word right now, so I'm just gonna end this. Oh god, I'm so. This was such a bad like ending. I was like, I'm botching like every single word. I'm so sorry. And if you actually like this broadcast, which I have no idea why you would, just subscribe. I'm gonna try to get better with this. Uh, yeah, so subscribe. I'm gonna pump it out a lot more videos, so stick around. End.